Hello web devs and welcome back to another video tutorial. I'm Rob Souveniz, a full stack web developer, freelancer and creator of Web Dev Made Easy. Today I will show you how to create this HTML block from scratch, the easy way. We start right now. Right here we have the picture, call time here. And let's create just two files. This one is going to be index.html. And the second one is going to be style.css. Let's create our HTML structure. Okay. Let's put here our title. Here is going to be a clock. Let's create our link that's going to connect our HTML to our CSS, okay? And now let's start creating the, the clock. Let's go to the body, okay? Let's create a div called clock. Let's create H2. The time now is, okay? Let's create another div called time and it's, we're, inside this one we're going to put the hour, minutes and also the seconds. So let's create the divs. This one is going to be for the hour. Okay, let's create a spin here. Let's create ID, ID of hour. Because I can be using uh, JavaScript here. And in here, zero, zero. And this is spell without the ID. We are going to put here hours, okay? Let's create another spam. This one with no I ID. Let's put hours. All I have to do now is copy this one. Let's copy this. Let's paste. Okay. We have three of them. One for hour. This is one for the minutes. Let's change here for minutes. Okay. And this one for seconds. Okay. Remember, this is spam and this is the ID seconds. We're going to be using this in the future. And here, let's type seconds. Okay, that's it. Now we're going to have our script here. I, I'm not sure if you know something about JavaScript. I'm going to be teach JavaScript in the future, okay, I'm going to create a curse here from the beginning to the end here, okay, maybe next week you're going to be able to learn JavaScript here from the beginning to the end. But for now I'm going to just create this one and you can copy and you're going to make your clock work. We have, we have this function, clock. Our variable, hours. Let's assign it to document hours get ID and here hour and now let's copy this one and do the same for minutes and seconds. Again, you don't have to pay too much attention to this one, this is JavaScript. If you don't know JavaScript, you're going to have the chance to learn it here in our channel. We're going to be having our playlist teach you from, from just the beginning until you become advanced in JavaScript, okay? Maybe next week I'm going to start teach you some JavaScript. Now let's continue here, okay?
So let's see what you have here. Okay, the time now is, you see the time, 7 o'clock. Okay, it's working. Now let's go to our CSS. Let's import our types of fonts that we're going to use here. We're going to use Lato. Okay, let's come to Google Fonts. Let's copy this one. Let's copy from, from here, HTTPS, until here. Okay, let's copy this one. And paste it here. Okay. Now let's go to our reset, okay? Margin is gonna be zero. Padding also zero, okay? No padding at all. Padding zero. Box sizing, let's set it to border box. Font family, let's use our Lato, okay? Like the same way we have here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, nice, nice font. Let's set the body. Let's display flex. Just five content. Let's put in the center. Align the items also center. It's gonna have a mean height of 100 VH. And also the very important here, we're gonna have our background image. Okay. I'm gonna give you the link to this picture you're gonna use. This is what it called time. Okay, as you can see it's too big. <laughs> I'm gonna change it right now, okay? Background size. Let's set it to cover. and overflow hidden now let's see yeah now you can see it but we, we we're gonna do something else we're gonna put here a linear gradient to the top of that of that is gonna be like a layout it's gonna be nicer you're gonna use to the, to the right okay you're gonna use the the same colors here is gonna be from you're gonna go from blue to red Okay. RGB 8 to 5500 and transparency dot 5. Come up here, RGB 8, and this is going to be our blue 0, 0, 2, 5, 5, and transparency of dot 5. Okay, you see that we go from red to to blue. Now let's take care of our clock H2. H2, okay. Position is going to be relative. We are talking to our H2, okay. Display block color. Is gonna be white. It's the same of F, F, F. Text align is gonna be center. Text align here. Okay. Let's set it to center. Let's give it a margin. 40 pixel top and bottom. Zero left and right. Foot H. Font weight is gonna be bold, so 700. Text transform, let's use our uppercase here, it's much better here, okay? Let's give some space between the fonts. Let's space in 0.4. And now let's go to the to the size of the font. Okay, font size is gonna be one em. Okay, 
we have finished our H2 as you can see the time the time now is, is beautiful now let's go to our clock time at set clock at also time display set it to flex now let's target our divs okay let's copy this one clock time and div position here is going to be a relative margin top and bottom margin top and bottom zero left and right five pixels now let's take care of yours that reflection effect okay below the, the the image below the clock you have to use here the web kit box reflect okay it's gonna be below it's gonna also have here one pixel let's choose a linear gradient transparent and also the color zero 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 four Oh yeah, you can see that there is this reflection here. Let's copy this one and paste here. Now we're gonna target our div spam. Okay. Position is gonna be a relative. Let's display here as not a line but block. Let's give it a size with 150 pixels. Also height of 120 pixels. 120 pixels. Let's give it a background, okay? Background. Let's choose a color here. Twenty one nine six F three. Okay, it's blue. Okay, you can see. Nice. And the color. Let's have here. Let's set it to white. Color white. Okay, F F F is the same as white. Okay. F font weight. Let's set it. 300 display flex let's just find the content to center align items also center let's give it the size so font size 3 em the index 10 is gonna allow us to see this layer and also let's give it a box shadow okay of course we are dealing with this boxes so let's give it a box shadow zero zero one pixel rgba black so zero let's choose black okay zero 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 Transparency dot two. Let's give it some body radius of three pixels, so this is not that square. We're gonna make it a little round, okay? Body radius three pixels here, and we start to have a nice effect here. We start to have our clock. All right, now let's start our labels below the numbers, okay? Below the hour. Let's copy this one, copy and paste here, and let's start the, the, the box 
below the time, okay? Let's give it a uh, height, okay? Let's give it 30 pixels. Now the font size is going to be 0 0.7 AM. Let's give also that nice effect. Add a spacing 0, 0 0.2 AM. Font weight, let's make a little bit bold. Let's give it 500. Z index. 9 Z index 9 box shadow here we don't need that so box shadow none and of course let's take out the background okay background and let's give it 127 F D6 nice blue and Text transform is gonna be also uppercase, okay? Let's see. Okay. Now it's gonna be time for us to target our seconds, okay? Let's make it different. The the le less box is gonna be red is gonna be different of the hours and minutes so let's target our list box background let's give a red color okay it's gonna be ff zero zero six a Okay, that's a nice color here. Okay, you can see that the second is now is different. And also, let's give the same color to... Let's give another color, and also red, to the label below the time, okay? All right. Let's choose here the background color AC006 2. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, as you can see, we have the clock, and it's amazing. Okay.